Hello friends, uh, my name is Tamara Rubin, Let's Save Mama, Let's Save Mama .com, and I'm working on doing these short videos for y'all on certain things that come up throughout the day. Um, today the conversation was about tea kettles, so I thought this was a good time to share with you this neat thing that I got. Ugh, this looked so cool, I was so excited. because I, I tell people, well I really like the glass teapots and ours broke as one is wont to do. You know, it had a good life before it broke. And um, so I, I thought, oh, let's try this one. And it is stovetop safe and, you know, uh, it has this cool insert with these flowers or you can put other things in it. And so I bought it and um, it arrived. Here's the teapot itself. And then it has a glass insert to put the tea in, which I thought was excellent. And then it has a glass lid across the board really good choice I thought and I was really excited about it and then it came with these flowers that you put inside of it oh where did I put the flowers and um and they and you put them in and the flowers expand it's called tea bloom so it's like a packet of flowers who knows what's in that and so I thought, oh this is great um it's a nice new teapot I could put on the blog but then I did what I always tell people to do, and I inspected the bottom. And unfortunately, I found a logo. It says Tea Bloom, and that logo is in a paint that's raised. You can feel it it's sort of dry on the bottom when you touch it. It's over 5,000, close to 6,000 parts per million lead, even though the teapot itself is lead free. And it's the kind of thing that when you take the lead check swab, to show you this you got the yellow liquid after doing that and you drop it on it I haven't done this so I don't know if it will turn <laughs> pink but woohoo pink right away bright pink right away um so it's funny the logo um and that's how lead check swab works just in case you didn't know the logo went from being white to being pink because the whole thing's painted with lead paint anyway this is to go along with my tea kettle post in general, if it is borosilicate glass, it's probably lead free, unless it has painted markings, especially if it came from China. My concern is that those painted markings are going to go on the stovetop and be an issue with, um, you know, deterioration over time with the lead paint coming off because it goes on the heat source. So I will not be using this and I recommend that if you get one of these and it has a painted logo on the bottom that you're suspect as well. Don't even need to waste your money on a lead check swab. Just assume it has lead and find one that does not have a um, painted logo on the bottom. I have another one on the blog that I have purchased that has no painted logo. Okay, that's it for now. 10 minutes with Tamara, but the short version. Thanks for being here. Tamara Rubin, Lead Safe Mama, leadsafemama.com. I really appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos and read my blog.